Santa Fajita! Fortune makes love to you today, Frida. What the hell? If my tan's uneven, I will murder all of you with my hands and a stick! Geometry aside for a second, and I can't believe I'm saying that, that hole is reflecting and focusing the moonlight. Now, back to the geometry. I can't live like this, Norm. I need my sleep. You know I've never been a morning person. Silver, Pegasus, Silver, Pegasus, and Barbaro. Daybreak! Oh, yes! Finally, I can get some sleep. Come on, Norm, think. It's just light. You're way smarter than light. I know it. I accept the challenge. Get ready for some loom and doom. <laughs> <laughs> if you were a physicist, you'd be laughing like crazy right now. I guess we're on different wavelengths. <laughs> I can't dumb it down any further. Too stifling. I need fresh air when I sleep. Mm, no, too constricting. Feels like I'm wearing glasses or about to be shot. By the way, if I ever need glasses, please shoot me. Too disorienting. Too German disco. Get out of here! Damn it! I guess it's back to the drawing board. So this is what it's come to, hanging out with my sister. Being stuck in a canyon sucks. You suck. It's worse for me. You're not missing anything, but I had an interesting life. Mine was interesting, too. Feel free to get back in line, man. Puberty only comes once. Now I'm just bored. This must be how Anne Frank felt when she got locked in that attic with all those potatoes on that island after her parents died because she had red hair. You're mixing up Anne Frank with Anne of Green Gables again. That's why you don't do well in history. And why no one can figure out what you were last Halloween. How many fingers? This many. Two. Right! <laughs> Your thinking box ain't broke. Dang. I wish I hit something harder, like reading. What are you guys doing? Hang on. What am I doing? In the real world, I don't talk to people like you. 
damn this canyon! We're playing banghead. Guess how you play. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. You put a bucket on your head and bang into things. Darn, you're smart. I can tell you never played. The winner is the first one who can't remember what they're doing. You wanna play? No, thanks. I'm gonna need my brain to earn money in the future. Well, what's the future? Nothing you need to worry about. That's what Mama says about dentists. Aw, last place again, Steve. <laughs> Hey, Roxy! Are you as excited as me? I'm not physically capable of that. But it's time for the Canyon's annual theater night! A few years ago, we did hair. But we probably won't do that again because of the incident. Place called hair for a reason, folks. There will be no refunds. After that, we decided to just do a variety show every year. This year, it's Sid's turn to direct. Speak of the devil! Okay. He enjoys fire and seems to be a bit of a bully. Right bit of luck you posted a note. <laughs> Roxy's going to audition! I didn't say that. I didn't even think that. I was actually planning to half smile and then leave. The play is gonna be brilliant! Music, comedy, music, comedy! And it's based on something I smelled once, which I think came from me. It's also based on this mural me drummer used to have on the side of his skip. Oh, that mural taught me more about life than a god or venereal disease ever could. Hang on, just as the mural predicted, you're the chosen one! I know, right? I'm totally chosen. You have to be in my show. Please say yes or do anything. The show can't go on without you. Coming through. Move. Get out of the way. Jake Wendell. Wendell Talent. I heard what you said about Roxy. You're right. The show can't go on without her. Now, as her agent, let's talk deal points. Who made you my agent? Fortune did. Good fortune. Mace, you can be her entourage. Do entourage -y stuff. You're pretty. I like how far apart your eyes are. I look up to you. There you go! Raised up to avoid the light. Which, by the way, I turned into a new tanning booth. You'll be well-rested and bronzed. Just like Roxy's baby shoes. And to think, Jake wore these too. Reduce, reuse, recycle. I learned that from the back of a beer can. Boy, oh boy, you're one interesting son of a bitch, ain't you, Norm? Thanks, honey. <gasps> I'm gonna take a nap. Norman? Sweetie? Dear? Uh-oh. Problem, it's the smell. I guess we were always below it before. <gasps> I'll make it higher. Thanks for the helmet, guys. I'll play another time, but right now, my parents, I'd clean the trailer. What's the bowl for? It's a helmet. Butch and Sly invented a game called Bang Hit, and they keep trying to get me to play with them. Don't let anyone talk you into doing something you don't want to do. Peer pressure can make you do some pretty strange things. I don't know, fellas. First of all, I'm married, and besides, I'm not sure I'd even know what to do with one virgin. Don't worry about me. I love my brain too much to intentionally hurt it. So, are you really gonna clean the trailer? It sure doesn't sound like something I'd do. <laughs> Table. Does it spell table? Um, no. It was Crash Canyon. I even said it at the end. I'd like to buy a letter then, please. That's not really how you play. Okay, I'll have a guess then. Does it spell table? Knock, knock. Who's there? How the hell would I know? Servants answer our door. I'm rich. Richer than all of you. <laughs> oh. Right, people, first things first. We don't have a lot of time, so we're gonna have to rehearse every day between now and the show. There's no way I'm doing anything every day. Routines are for losers with OCD, like that raccoon. Okay, everybody except Roxy is gonna have to rehearse every day between now and the show. 
What? Why does she get special treatment? I'm the star. You envy me. And she saved a van from the kangaroos and letters. It can't be more complicated than that, or I wouldn't understand it. If no, I had anything else to do, an I would. Say what you want about the girl in the crowd. Do what you need to feel better. But the girl in the crowd has a secret to share. If only you'd listen and let her. She has a voice that can fly all the way to the sky and make the stars shine brighter. It's a lilt full of bliss, a small vocal kiss that can make the world feel better. All that she asks is you let her. Wow, you're good. Any interest in being in the play? Well, you're up early, unless you're from Europe, in which case you really slept in. <laughs> Wouldn't that be? <laughs> Water dripping. Can't sleep. Build it higher, Norm. This is as high as we can safely go. I, I did the math. Twice because it was fun. Higher. I think the kids and I will go to Frida's for breakfast. You can come along or maybe sleep for a really long time. Your call. I support you either way. I ain't blind. Me also neither. Our think makers must ain't be broken at all. So, Jake tells me you two are pretty good with your hands. And you like to chew on rope. It's like he knows our souls. Once I found a piece of rope, so I bit it. But it turned out to be a badger's tail. It hurt me, but now we're friends. Even though I haven't seen him since. Just once in a nightmare. Well, <laughs> your parents must be proud. Anyway, if you two raise my trailer, I'll give you some rope to chew on. Gold rope from a curtain. Ooh, I bet that'd taste fancy. Like eating a tuxedo. Sheila, be reasonable. Look how crooked and shaky it is. I feel like I'm watching Michael J. Fox on a pogo stick. Those idiot butanes wouldn't know how to use a level if I held it up and screamed, learn how to use a level or I'll hit you with this level. It's not safe. Even a basic understanding of scientific principles will tell you that. Science is a fad norm, like platform shoes and Australia. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go take a nap. Roxy's show is coming up. She really wants you there. She even got you a free ticket. Much against Jake's argument. I'll be there just as soon as I can get some sleep, which I can't do with you standing there telling me I need to get some sleep. Boy, if I had a nickel for every time I screamed that in the startled face of a Cracker Barrel waitress, I'd have 45 cents. Cue the monkeys. <laughs> Unicorns look more terrified. This is a comedy. Roxy's pretty good, huh? Brilliant, yeah, like a hen wearing a cape. As good as the way electricity smells. Glad to hear it. I took the opportunity to write her contract up for you because I know you're busy, and I wasn't sure if you could read or write. That's a good bit of figuring. If you find out about the reading and writing, let me know, okay? Let's see here. Squiggly line, wiggly line, scribble, scribble, asterisk. Where's Mom? Is she coming? Um, she's busy. Busy? But I'm her daughter, and I'm about to make my canyon debut. I know, honey, and I'm sure that if she could... I brought frittatas and some smoke and hot tamales. Would you please cover my eyes? Thank you. Would be nice not to have to ask. Say what you want about the girl in the crowd. Do what you need. 
to feel better. But the girl in the crowd has a secret to share. If only you'd come and watch her. Come on! <laughs> We can't help anymore. Ma said it's getting too dangerous. Fine. I don't need you. You could tell your mom she raised a couple of quitters. She knows, but she says it critters. Sheila, family meeting. Doors open. On the ground. Mom, the place today. I'm the star. In the scene at the accordion store, all the windshield wipers are singing to me. Yeah, that's great, honey. I'll be there just after I fix a couple things. My two idiot helpers bail on me because their mama said it wasn't safe. If the butanes think something is dangerous, what does that tell you? Sheila, you're exhausted. You're not yourself. Maybe. Maybe I'm just more me than I've ever been. More me than you can handle. Tell me that just didn't make you rethink everything. Free? What do you mean, free? That's the worst word ever! Yeah, it's like art, eh? You can't put a price on that, can you? Well, then what was the point of you and I spending a whole day negotiating what percentage of the gate Roxy got? Was I there when we done that? You called the meeting! Oh, that's what it was about. I thought you were just telling me a really long joke I didn't get. Break a leg, honey. Do you want me to break your leg? Can you leave us alone, Mace? She'll be here. No, she won't. It's going to be just like the school play when I was in grade one. To be fair, she was giving birth to Jake at the time. Not hard to tell who Mom's favorite kid is then, is it? Me, by landslide. And now, here's some more bad news. I'm dropping you as a client. What? Why? I need to focus all of my attention on the next big act. That guy. You're dropping your sister for a ventriloquist? Just dummy. He's the one with the talent. Ugh! Can this day get any worse? What's black and white and red all over? Bjorn, if I choose to let Vaughn graffiti him. Vaughn? Illustrate why this joke is funny. <laughs> Don't be sad. I can be sad for you. <laughs> the girl in the crowd do what you need to feel better but the girl in the crowd has a secret to share if only you listen and let her don't worry Roxy mama's coming going to her play. She asks is 
you call that a dancing ham? You're an embarrassment to meat products. <laughs> to wear pants at the mall. My moral teachings have made the world a better place. Glad you made it. Mm, me too. Don't worry about the trailer or the light beam. I have an idea. Not so funny, is it, jerk? Why couldn't this be a river of grooming gel? No! Oh! Call me. Pens? And holster? I think he's gonna make it. Oh, thank God. Hear that, Norm? Everything's gonna be fine. What was that? Kaboom! 